2013 was declared the year of the environment in Haiti. In response to the nation's widespread deforestation and desertification, the government of Haiti has launched a national conservation and reforestation effort. Deforestation and poverty in Haiti are closely linked. Soil erosion caused by deforestation stems back to slave colonial plantation systems. But during the colonial period, forests were cleared to support cash crops. This major shift from forest to plantation sapped the soil of its nutrients and led to soil erosion. In 1804, the people of Haiti overthrew the French, gaining their independence from slavery and colonialism. However, this victory came at a terrible cost to the environment. The newly formed government came to rely heavily on the timber export market in order to settle the crippling 90 million franc debt to France that had been part of the independence agreement. Timber export, coupled with unchecked farming, further weakened the landscape. The timber and farming industries provide one of the few ways that poor laborers can generate income. Yet these methods have led to degraded soil and water scarcity, which have resulted in decreased agricultural yields and ultimately decreased income. Although only 20% of Haitian land is considered arable, 50% is currently under agricultural production. Lacking the stabilizing root systems of trees, the land is visibly eroded. On average, 6,000 hectares of soil are lost each year to erosion, and according to USAID, one-third of all land is severely degraded. The current rate of deforestation is exacerbated by the use of water charcoal as primary fuel for many Haitians. If deforestation continues at this rate, soil erosion will continue to make the land even more unstable and susceptible to devastation from natural disasters, such as mudslides, floods, and hurricanes. This is a devastating figure, especially when compared to her neighbor, the Dominican Republic, which has 40% forest cover. But this disparity also shows us that it is possible for the Haitian landscape to support forests. Implementing sustainable logging and farming practices will bring the land back to life. Healthy soil will stabilize the physical landscape and allow poor communities reliable yields and incomes. If we all work together with the help of the government, we can double Haiti's forest cover by 2016 and this upward trajectory can continue. In fact, the most successful conservation and reforestation efforts have been those associated with local farmers, Guotman Paysan, and indigenous knowledge. You can help reforest Haiti in your communities. You can serve as unofficial ambassadors for the Year of the Environment and gather community support. Tell your families and friends how industrial logging and unsustainable farming erodes the soil, devastates the land, and decreases income. Support green initiatives and community forests in your area by creating environmental clubs at your school or in your community. Let's take Haiti from this to this. With your help, one Haitian, one tree, can lead to one Haiti, many trees.